and one of the curiosities that I have is do we see any difference from the 4K 4K 60 frames per second on the main back camera. Welcome back to another one and today with the Asus ROG Phone 7 Ultimate which is simply the most powerful smartphone for gaming available on the market. It has the Snapdragon 8 generation 2 which has one core up to 3.36 gigahertz, four cores up to 2.8 gigahertz and then three efficient cores that will go up to 2.0 gigahertz 16 gigabytes of the dr5x ram and 512 gigabytes of storage ufs 4.0 in a amoled display of 6.78 inches with 165 hertz refresh rates there are two different models three different choices that we can make the asus rock 7 ultimate which has the specs that i just stated and there's also the asus rock 7 normal version that one has two colors the storm white and phantom black that starts at 12 gigabytes of ram and 256 of storage and will go up to 16 gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of flash storage rock font 7 ultimate comes default with 16 gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of storage and it also comes with the aero active cooler 7 which as you can see i'm not really sure if you can see right over there it opens that door in on the top that will allow air to get into the air cooled chamber which will get 25 degrees less on the back panel and up to 8 degrees less on the display 2 inch OLED display with 6 different kinds of scenarios and in terms of build quality it's just awesome the design itself and the materials that were used besides that it has Gorilla Glass Victors the screen personally it's a bit big for my daily usage but to consume content and to play games is just an awesome experience 6.78 inches with a resolution of 2448 by 1080 which is a great experience everything is fluid in terms of performance i did test out in a few benchmarks and comparing with the asus rock phone 6 it is 15 percent faster while at the same time 15 percent more efficient in terms of energy consumption and if we compare the asus rock phone 7 because this is a computer that we can have on our pockets on every day if we compare this to the computers available on the market and if we take a look at geekbench and pc mark we will see that on the single core score it does compare roughly to the i9 9900k and the apple m1 cpu so this is a really high performance that we have here on such a small device if we look at the multi-thread performance in multi-core we will find that it's on the same level of the i5 9600k which although it's not the most recent CPU, it's not that old and it's a desktop CPU and we are achieving the same kind of performance on a mobile device, which is just awesome. If we take a look at the Android devices, then this is the most powerful CPU available at this moment. It's on the top of the benchmarks and there are other phones equipped with the same CPU and I believe that in the future probably a few more. If we take a look at iOS, it is on the same level of performance that we have on the iPhone 13 Pro, which is below of the iPhone 14 Pro. Using it to consume multimedia, it's also a great experience. It has two dual speakers, one of each side, which will give us a really nice sensation in terms of sound, especially having in consideration the size that it has. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall, If we don't want to use this sound, we can also connect our headphones and there are at least three ways that we can connect. The first one is Bluetooth with low latency and then we can also use the USB Type-C connection that we have two USB Type-C connections right over here and right over here being used at this moment by the Aeroactive Cooler but at the bottom we still have another USB right over there and 3.5 and we also have a 3.5 right over here that we can connect to our headset and the gaming experience is just as as awesome as I could imagine on this AMOLED display 165 Hertz everything is so 
fluid that we don't even know if we are looking at a phone and there is no match for the CPU at this moment it will play everything that we will throw at it and also the games that are coming out with ray tracing the snapdragon 8 generation 2 it's also ready for that so in the near future when games start using ray tracing which is something that is common on the pc world then the asus rock phone 7 is ready for that as well Another really cool feature is the air triggers which are two buttons here on the top or sensitive buttons here on the top that we can control with our fingerprints giving us a more console gaming experience than a phone. To control all this it has four different kinds of software or apps that we can use it will help to map the vibration level to control the feedback that we get from the phone it also has x sense which will sense important features on the game important events to be more precise and it will make a pop-up with eventual help that it will be able to give us x capture is another app which will be automatically loaded and it will record automatically those highlights that we will do on a game without having to think that okay i'm going to record right now and then finally it has the background mode which is basically what we already do on computers that we have a game we can put it on background and it will do its own thing on different kinds of games that will enable automatic fighting and whatnot and right over here we can put it on the background as well and the app will not block it will keep on working and evolving the character for us so it's not cheating it's the same that we have on computers that we can leave it right over there and keep on doing our tasks without worrying about the game vlogging mode and it's really windy today i'm using the dji mic connected to the asus rog phone 7 ultimate on the screen looks really awesome we will look together on your big screen and on mine but right over here on the phone screen it's doing a great job so recording at 1080 up to 30 frames per second this is the quality that we can get out of this smartphone which is dedicated for gaming but if we want to do some sessions in terms of content creation with a front face camera this is what we are going to get 4k at 60 frames per second on the back main camera and one of the curiosities that i have is do we see any difference from the 4k or 8k which i will be recording just next but at this moment i'm using my dji microphone right over here because it's really windy and to get this kind of image really far away from the phone it's the only way that we can do it now and right now we are recording at 8k 24 frames per second exactly the same spot same position so that we can see any difference or not on the resolution and image quality but i'm really curious to see now my display is 4k but you tell me down below in the comment section what resolution is your display and do you see actually a difference 4k 60 frames per second on the main back camera with a high dynamic range scenario right over here which is really awesome this almost sunset on a very windy day and one of the tests that i want to test out for myself and share with you is with that subject inside the frame with all these colors right over here and the lights but right now without anyone to see if we can get the same results wi-fi 7 it's great to have on the rock phone 7 ultimate which will allow two important things besides highest speeds it will also be able to connect to two different bands simultaneously which is something that we cannot do at this moment and besides that on the data side it will do the same as well it will be able to multi-link connection for 5g and 4g taking advantage of the best of both the battery has 6000 milliamps divided in two physical batteries so that it manages power efficiency a little bit better and if we use it on a normal usage then it will last all day if we play a lot of games we will need to charge it as its own limit but 42 minutes is what we need to charge it from 0 to 100 percent and there are two options that we can have one is i steady charging which will charge at a slower pace in case you are worried about the longevity of the battery and the other one is the bypass that we can just plug it in and while we are gaming it's not charging it's just 
just bypassing and giving energy to the smartphone without wearing the battery which is also really nice and basically this is it regarding the asus rock phone 7 ultimate which is a awesome smartphone for gamers and i do believe that those that spend a lot of time gaming will be just amazed on this machine right over here that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one